Hi and welcome to Siska Stitches. In today's video, I'm going to be um, showing you guys how to make your bustier actually look padded without it being padded, okay? It's actually a very, very quick and simple tutorial, so let's get right into it. So I have right here a bustier pattern that I cut out on fabric. I have the pattern on my channel. I'm going to link it up so you guys can, you know, watch that tutorial if you're interested in making a two bustier pattern. This actually also works for shoulder princess seams. What I have here is the bustier pattern and I drafted only the front parts for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what you're going to need to do for your fabric, if this is your main fabric or even if it is your lining fabric, it is to um, add fusible interfacing to it to sort of um, make it a little bit um, thicker but for the purpose of this tutorial i will not do that because i'm just illustrating this i'm not actually making a dress so what i'm going to do right now of course after you have interfaced your fabric all you need to do is to go on to sew the seams together so i'll be sewing the dart area by a half an inch with um right sides of fabric touching right sides so i'll sew this side from bottom to top by half an inch repeat the same thing for this other side as well so after sewing the pieces together this is what the two bustier looks like so in order for us to make our dress to look like you know to look full in the bust area without doing any padding what we are going to do next is to go on to sew this bias tape onto the uh, bust area so i'm just going to sew the two edges down from the top to the waist area repeat the same thing for this other side as well so after sewing on the bias tape to our two bustier this is what it looks like okay so by the time we do what we want to do it should you know sort of end up um, looking like this so what we want to do right now is to insert this into the space that we have here so this is a uh, polyester boning and i'm using polyester boning because it is actually more flexible than plastic boning so i just go on to insert it into this space that i have here now if you want to do this if you don't want this bias thing on your fabric you can go ahead and you know sew it onto the lining okay sew it onto the lining and then insert your boning into the lining it will still give you the same um effects all right so i'll just go on to push this in and after inserting it in i will show you what it looks like on a mannequin so you can actually appreciates what we are doing here all right so whatever i do for this side of course is the same thing i'm going to do for the other side and you guys will see so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did kindly give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and i'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial bye <laughs>